What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I'm going to do a quick video for the beginners out there who have no idea how to use Cheat Engine or you know use my cheat tables that I've talked about in my various Borderlands 3 videos. So if you are not a beginner you can safely skip this video. Alright so for those of you who have asked questions about how do you use the cheat table and get all this stuff working that I've been talking about in my videos. First thing you want to do is get Cheat Engine. Uh, no, Cheat Engine is not a virus. It does come bundled with some things that will install if you don't read the installation prompts and opt out of that stuff. Okay, so we're going to install Cheat Engine together so that, you know, you will not be one of the people that comments on my video blaming me for you not reading <laughs> the installation prompts. You know what I mean? So it's all good. So right here in this uh, first link, I have all these in the description below. Uh, all the resources that you need. So in the first link here, we are on Cheat Engine's GitHub page. And so GitHub is a source code repository, right? So Cheat Engine is open source. You can go look at all of its source code here, all right? If you just want to download Cheat Engine, right here on this main page, you can click this releases tab, all right? And then here, Cheat Engine 7.0 is the latest release. So you can just scroll down until you see here, Cheat Engine 70.exe. So just click that. It'll download Cheat Engine. Once it's finished downloading, you know, if you wanted to download it to your desktop, wherever, uh, once it's done, then you run it. And here. Okay. So the initial license agreement, you can just accept this and click next if you want to, read through it. Um, and then here, you can, it probably defaults to check for new versions when Cheat Engine starts. You can uncheck that if you want, doesn't matter. Create desktop icon, that's up to you again. Click next. All right, here's the first thing. All right, McAfee Web Advisor. Now, I have no idea which offer you will get. This is the one I'm getting here, but all that I need to do is uncheck this box. This is typically what you need to do. You may need to read this closely because I have seen where it'll say you know by checking this box uh, you know I agree to not blah 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 they try to use like backwards wording on it so it can try to trip you up sometimes but anyway so I just uncheck that box you may get another offer after this I'm clicking next okay that was the only one I was given so that's it now I've got cheat engine installed none of the crapware all right, whenever I click next and, you know, you can either have it launch, I untoggle this because I have certain settings that I like to keep set. When you click finish, all right, it will direct you to a place on Cheat Engine's actual website. This is not from a plugin. This is just, you know, you were redirected here when you clicked finish from the application. So you can close that. Boom, you've got Cheat Engine. You're good to go. All right, so now this is my GitHub, and this is specifically my Cheat Engine repository. So here in this folder, this is where I will be putting more and more cheat tables over time. So this Borderlands 3 cheats one is the primary one that I have in my videos. So if you click that, it takes you here, all right? And so now what you actually need to do is download this cheat table, all right? So this is just the source view, basically. You're viewing the source code. Imagine this is a C++ file or JavaScript or whatever. And now you actually want to download this file itself. So here, where it says raw, you can right-click on that and save link as. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop here. I already have it here, so I'm just going to put a 2 and go save. All right. And now you have the cheat table. So you can double click it from your desktop or wherever you saved it or right here from where it shows in the download, you can click on it. And I'm going to click yes here. All right. And so here is let me resize this so it pops under the well, it should pop under the uh, magnifier here that I've got going. Uh, right click and ah, anyway it'll pop into view here in a second let me just move this magnifier I try to set this magnifier up so that 
There we go. People can actually see it because uh, of my resolution. Anyway, okay, so we've got Cheat Engine open here, and we have the Cheat Table open, okay? So now what we need to do is attach to the game. So we've got Cheat Engine open, and by the way, before you attach to the game, I'll give you a nice little tip here. If you go to Edit and Settings, okay, and then you go to Debugger Options, okay, don't worry about what any of this means, <laughs> unless you get interested in it, in which case I have a ton of uh, Cheat Engine tutorial videos. You can go watch those. Uh, I'll link to a playlist in the description below. Anyway, okay, so you can check this that says use VEH debugger and then click OK. And that will just, if you start using cheat tables for other games, you may notice some issues with crashing. That will usually help you prevent crashing, especially if you are scanning for values yourself. Okay, so with that out of the way, um, now what we want to do is, you know, have Borderlands 3 open and then you click this icon to attach to the game. So you look for wherever you have Borderlands 3. I have it here. All right. It'll say, do you want to keep, uh, let's see, keep the current address list code list. Just click yes. Okay. That's going to keep everything that's in here. So now you should be attached to the game. And now you can just toggle by clicking in any of one of these scripts here and it will do the cheat. All right. So I'm going to go in the game here. All right, I'm going to hit this, and you see how I have 1.4 billion golden keys, all right? So some people were like, I don't want 1 billion golden keys, I just want 100 golden keys. So if you actually wanted to edit this script, okay, or any script, where it says script here, double-click on that word itself. You can't double-click here and have it open the script. You have to click on double-click on script here, okay? And now where this is... Okay, this is the actual code for the script, all right? And again, don't worry about what any of this means. All that you need to know for the purposes of this particular script, let's say you only wanted 100 golden keys. This number right here is the 1.4 billion number, and it is literally that number. So with the hash here, that indicates basically a decimal number, the exact number that you want to have something represented by okay so if we wanted a hundred golden keys we'll change this to a hundred click OK all right now if you were not attached to Borderlands 3 and you tried to modify the script you would get an error because cheat engine tries to check for certain things like whenever you save a script or create a script and if you're not attached to the game like it's not gonna know what this is what is Borderlands 3 plus offset this, that, whatever. So you'll get an error, okay? So just a heads up about that. Anyway, so now if I toggle this, okay, come back in the game, exit out, come back in, look, there's a hundred golden keys, okay? And now I can untoggle this script. I could close Cheat Engine if I wanted, and that's what I have in the game, a hundred golden keys, okay? So now I want that 1.4 billion, so... Alright, we'll do that. We'll say OK. Re-enable the script. Do this, come back in, and look there. Okay, so there it is. That's how you download Cheat Engine, install Cheat Engine without installing the bundled crapware that comes with it. Okay and how to get cheat tables, download the cheat tables, open the cheat tables, modify the cheat tables, um, and that's it. So if that's all you want, bam, you are good to go. If you want to actually learn how to use Cheat Engine, like I said, check the description below. I've got a bunch of tutorials for you that will set you up right, no matter how much of a beginner you are. All right, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Take care.